in line, keep your feet in place. I mean, you can you can rotate and do what you gotta do, but don't, don't, you're not trying to evade the guy running down the line. So the whole point of this exercise is to learn to have to keep awareness and defend with your weapon at the same time on both sides of your body in a line situation where you got your whole team right next to you. You've got to be aware at all times. So what we're going to do is we're all going to line up uh, facing one direction, weapon length behind your the guy in front of you, and then the, the guy starting the whole run is going to break to either the left or the right. He's going to run down the line and he's going to attack as he wills at whoever he wants. And it's your responsibility as a person in the line to defend it. And then the next guy in line is going to break to the opposite direction and run down the opposite side of the line, swinging and attacking as he will against whoever he wants. And you're just going to keep that cycle going. You run to the back of the line, you stay in line, you block. Once you get back up to the front of the line, you go back down the line and attack. So it's just a circle. It's a continuous line, like a centipede of defense. Because the centipedes are awesome. <laughs> so uh, we'll we'll run this exercise one more time. And uh, Ashley, you want to start for us? Right here, David. Yep, go whenever. Now break to the left, come down the line and attack. Break to the left. Yep. As you want. Break to the right, go. All right, switch it. Good hits. Angus, I make the funny noises here. Come on, fish it up strong, guys. He's not a threat until he's not a threat. Last one. Uh, just all 
I'm doing is rotating my wrist right around his head. So, try to catch it. Yes. Now you got the shield and I'll push it in and wrap it right around. Now when you come in, don't try to relocate. This is all this shoulder, see all this shoulder and elbow movement? This takes time, okay? Not to mention he can free up his weapon here. So when I want to go, I'm just going to rotate my wrist right hey, around. Kurt, I have a question. So, say like, if he's using a, be, yeah, on the longer end of shield weapons, he's talking about when I swing here, coming in front instead of blocking here, because when around the back of his head, there's too much sword and it gets caught up trying to come back around for other shots. So he's talking about like, if you were to throw from my shoulder, instead of like coming here. What if you came up like this? Yes, that's fine. Okay, as long as you keep your elbow back, I guess. What, so if he's coming at me, okay, you're coming for this shoulder. This is what I want. Okay, I'm intercepting this blade here. So when he comes for that shoulder shot, okay, okay. that's now see my hand is already in position. I'm pushing with the shield to prevent him from wrapping. I'm just so to you, the emphasis isn't blocking it back here or anything? The emphasis is just getting that interruption. Well, because, no, 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 yeah, because if, if, if I get it here, even if he wraps his wrist, there's no power to it. So, bam! Okay, so yeah, that you one. Defect, that's, have you ever heard parry? Yeah, that's it, yeah. That's yeah. exactly what parry means. It, does, it means it is taking a lethal blow no, and yeah. turning it into a non Okay. We're not trying to stop necessarily the hit. We're trying to keep it from being sufficient. So for melee, that's here, reducing it to sufficient, insufficient force. I'm just going to grab my shield. And Does that make sense? Me to work around, and then we'll practice me throwing and you counter. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah I, mean, I got We're you. not trying to, I mean. If you deflect it enough, it's just good as deflecting it all I mean, if you hit yeah. me with that wrap after I've got my this, blade this, up, yeah. I mean, I'm not. Even if you get yeah. a good yeah. momentum yeah. tap, that's not going to be yeah. enough. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay, so like, I think right hurt. now. I'm being in a very default in the grapple. I'm not stopping myself. Because whatever you got is high. I'm coming here. Oh, you don't need that. Now follow all the way through. Yeah, I strap. I'm so used to keeping it in the pocket. Weapon lock. So I'm going to be able to want it here. Yeah, about trapping and controlling. So maybe it doesn't make sense because you're not ever focused on it before. Well, it's just, I mean, I see the merit of it. It's just not what I do. Not necessarily for yeah. everybody. But what it will do is if we drill it, yeah. you'll have better defense with your weapon. But I, so what, what I wanted to move to next yeah. is the double block. So I throw that and then you cross over. Okay, so I'm so here. Boom, here. And I want to block both. Because okay. I mean for naturally, naturally when I throw that, I'm going to twist here and then throw. So well like that's that's what when you do that, that's what yeah. this is about. Okay, yeah, and if I go over my wrist, and I'm, I'm even weaker. Uh, right. okay. so, yeah, so you have full control over that, yeah. That's what that was all about. I okay. don't like the yeah. center of the shield. I love them. This, this is kind of a... Well, with this, it's about... It's, 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 this is a lot more edgy. Edgy. So for me, whenever I hold this, I'm like Because I will punch with the edge. Yeah. So for me, if I was seeing this, if I was trying to center grip, no weapon block necessary. Okay. I drive that. Well, I drive that shield into there. No weapon, regardless. And then like, regardless of the sword, well, down. you know. Also, if you catch the blade and they do try to wrap, mm -hmm. say I do that. Okay, you pushed the blade yeah. around, so I'm protected from this double wrap. Okay. So, but now I yeah, so you have a lot of control. So, I mean, maybe it seems clunky. But again, I think that's really because we have it's not something that's used a lot. It feels good and I've done it before, but it just feels like whenever I do it, for me yeah, it's I not that, I don't, like, I for me it's not out your block. For me it's a I, I just twist the top of my shoulders and I block across the head. What I'm showing you is not. Yeah. Do you think it is so try try this again. Okay. Well, I'm trying to think about Okay, so uh, I'm catching the blade here. Let me be the defender because I, I want to try catch the blade here and see why it sucks. <laughs> I'll tell you why it sucks. I'll let you know. So, what I'm. Uh, Alright, so. Okay. Okay. Right, there is why it sucks. So, but if you catch it away from your body, now feel the difference. So, if I'm out. Big difference. You've, you've interrupted my flow. You've changed the momentum, you've changed the direction of the attack. 
Spot. You're SOL. He really is. Oh. Even if I have a shield, I'm a lot more comfortable doing that. He's got this with this light shield. Yeah. He's got this weapon right out in front. He just intercepted. Yeah. He could actually follow my blade on its retreat with his sword yeah. and follow me all the way back to my body. Because that's where my, my sword's gonna go, right? If he intercepts it like that, bang. My, my sword's got to come back to swing again. So if he's intercepting me like that, oh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm in a lot of trouble. All right? Okay. Ashley? I'll go after Ashley. Hey, Ashley, what, I'm, what I want to see you doing is getting up there and giving him some swings. Don't just water hose him. Just give him some good solid try to hit him. First fire. First fire shots. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Excellent. 